morning. I don't know if I'll ever upload this video, but I wanted to document it and what's happening. Um, my identical twin sister, Susie, has just been diagnosed with stage four cervical cancer that has spread with severe abnormalities to other areas. She's fighting a battle that is utterly incomprehensible to me. Her friends, her family, herself. Um, what I wanted to say was, sorry, my name's Emma. What I wanted to say is that as a family, we never really went to the doctor. We didn't enjoy, nobody enjoys going. But a few incidents with with horrible doctors when we were little ruined it for us and uh, traumatised us. And so we, we didn't really go back very often. She's been battling MS for a long time. And when she started going to the doctor with these symptoms, she begged them. She knew something was wrong and they kept fobbing her off, saying it's normal. The things you're experience are, experiencing are normal. Um, and they did no checks or scans or helped her in any way. And now she's received this diagnosis, which I can't even ask the questions I want to ask because I don't want to know what the answers are. And I have to be strong for my sister. She's not just my sister. She's my identical twin. We are the same person. I want you to all, Susie wants you to all make sure you get your checks you don't let the doctors fob you off when that you you know something's wrong. Um, she will absolutely save lives going through this. We've already had 20, 30 messages off friends, family, strangers that have gone to go and get their checks because they've heard her story. Um... So we're just begging you to speak to people, tell people about it. It's not frightening, it's not embarrassing, it's not scary. Because we can't, we don't want anyone to be going through this nightmare that we are. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and upload more to tell her story and what happens so we can all learn from it. Um, I'm going to the Maggie Centre at St James's Hospital today so they can help me process it and be there for her because if I can't be, if I can't deal with this then I can't, I can't be there for her. And that's no good to anybody. So, so that's that for today. And I'll speak to you soon.